Hey guys, Antihero Sir here, welcoming you back to Magic Duels. In the last episode, we started off doing the Battle for Zendikar. And in this episode, we're going to take on the second match of Battle for Zendikar. So, if you didn't watch last episode, which you should go back and watch it, um, the main, the main story arc for white was a little tutorial so all your cards were predetermined and whatnot. Um the Battle for Zena card is going is like a new white story arc so all your cards are random you actually get a experience white for how it is. So I only have one mana so I'm going to draw a new hand. This one's a little better. I don't want to go down to 6, so I'm going to keep it. Um, my Core Gastigator is really good at when facing off against Eldrazi. Not so much when you're facing off and against an ally deck, yeah. This guy has an ally deck, which I'm pretty sure came out with the original Zendikar pack. And allies are dangerous. Allies are really dangerous. You do not want to face off against an ally deck. He's summoning his own core gas, core ga core castinator. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. I'm gonna play my shadow glider, and I'm gonna save my stasis snare because against an ally deck. Stasis Snare is going to be a saver. Because a lot of those allies are really powerful and each, a lot of allies have rally, which means whenever it or another ally comes on. Here we go. Rally. Whenever Mankadai, Patrol, or another ally creature enters the battlefield under your control, each creature you control gains vigilance till end of turn. So pretty much what Rally does is whenever that creature that has it or another ally enters the field, all his other ally creatures are going to gain a special effect. Like this one's effect was each creature gains vigilance, others will give each one's first strike, life flank, 1-1, one, one, can't be blocked except by two or more. So I'm going to swing in the air because I can. I'm gonna save um, my tandem tactics in case I got a uh, in case I got to block. So which I don't so far need summoning another vigilance creature. Oh god. Um, I'm gonna wobble or charge my castigators. An attack of fall. Twelve indeed air. Playing Evolving Wilds and another Cliffside Lookout. Just kind of bad. That's eight damage. Never ally. I don't know why he doesn't use his evolving wilds right now. Oh. He did it as soon as I said it. Okay, I'm gonna get another land out.
I'm going to stasis near one of his um, patrols here. Actually, Kirk. I'm going to do it on his Cork Castigator. I'm going to attack with Ball. See how he blocks. Then I'm going to use Tandem Tactics on my Castigators. Killing off two of his creatures. If I get one more land, I can play my um, Belladar. Oh no, you're dealing 3 damage instead of 2. Yep, I'm summoning Belladar. Which is great now because Attack of Fall is probably going to block the Castigators, killing off his two creatures. And next turn is game. Because unless he gets a creature of flying, he can't block my two damage I'm swinging at him with. Another Shadow Glider. But I think I'm going to toy with him a bit. By swinging with my Philidor only. Because Felidor's um, ability here with if you have 40 or my, more life, you win the game. I, I want to actually see if I can do that. See, here's the good thing. That's a 4, that's a 5-5. Five, five. My Felidor is a 4-6. We can't kill each other. Which means I can just keep attacking. And keep gaining life. So it's stand still, and but I gain four life. Summoning a puma. Puma. And see, here's the great thing about it: if he attacks with his six six, I can just block with my shadow glider. Because as long as, like, I can end this any time if I have one Shadow Glider. So. Ooh, that's actually a good card. Alright, Belador swings. He's gonna block this Puma. His Puma dies. I gain four life. Of course he's summoning another ally. And he's gonna tap my Shadow Glider. So he's gonna swing for six. I'm going to take it. Cause I don't wanna lose my my Philidor. A glory seeker! I got another chump blocker. <laughs> See, he has to keep blocking. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep swinging and eventually kill him off. Yeah, if he blocks or he attacks, he's not gonna be able to block. Stasis snare, that, that's actually. I can actually stasis near this creature and kill him off. But I I wanna I wanna actually try to get Philidor's effect off. So 
So he's playing an evolving wilds. Probably grab a forest. Or not. Hey, I'm gonna never one of these. <laughs> Which I could actually kill off his creature if I get a landfall. This fellow door could become a five a five seven or a six eight. Depending on how I want to play it. Alright, he's summoning another ally. Which means he's probably going to swing. Or not. Another Felidar. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swing with Felidar and Glory Seeker. Which means he has to block both if he doesn't want to die. So he's gonna lose his Castigator. But I got two Felidars. Oh boy, and next oh my god, I'm seven points away from getting forty life. I'm gonna summon an eagle to watch. But no, like seriously. I'm gonna swing with Philidor. I could swing with both Philidors, but I would just kill him off. Next turn I swing, I gain 40, I gain 4 life. Oh, I'm gonna gain more than for get more total than 41. My, I would have done it with my bullet arc. He attacks, I block, or not attack. Well, either way, I win next turn because I'm gonna increase bullet strength to six. So I'm gaining 12 life, putting me up to 49. Winning the game on my next turn. He can't even kill my Philidar, which is the best part. So I get 49 life, and the game's over. Like, it's over. Philidar's effect activates as soon as I start my m turn. There we go. I win the game. I didn't even take him down to zero. See, that that's one thing. That's one... Like, Philidor is a good white creature. Like, this is why... This is the experience of white that the white story arc doesn't give you. Like, I killed him. Well, I could have used these to bring up more allies, more creatures and whatnot, but... Philidor such a good card oh my god like look at that I didn't even kill I didn't even get him down to zero which is really fun so if you like this episode please comment like subscribe share if your friends if you haven't already check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates on videos and whatnot I've been Anto Hero Sora and next time we're gonna take on the third match of the battle for Zendikar see you then